I'm ready. In uh, 2019, I raced with Pascal for the first time, and um, there was a lot of unknown, and uh, now I feel like we know each other quite well, and the boat itself will be the unknown. <laughs> we launched this new Omoka with not a lot of time before the TJV, so reliability is probably the most important thing for us as a team, and if the boat works, uh, I trust the performance to be there, and I trust us to point it in the right direction. How many TJV races have you done? Eight, my friend. And you, how many TJV have you done? <laughs> Get ready for my second. Oh, and the first one, it was a good uh, souvenir. Yeah, I'm doubling down on the person I sailed with. Uh, Short-handed sailing is still new to me, um, so I'm very lucky to be sailing with Pascal. Uh, obviously he's done a lot of it and I learn a lot from him certainly. It's a mix between both of us having to do everything and then you know in certain maneuvers and in certain instances having specific jobs so it's a, a, a combination. I can't say everything about that because I want to keep that a little bit for us but uh, for submarine uh, but we have to cross uh, the channel of the marsh at the start, it's a tricky point because there is plenty of exclusion zone, uh, plenty of boats. Uh, normally it's quite windy, so it's the start of the, boat, of the race. Uh, so it's uh, quite intense to, uh, to go out the, the marsh at the start. After, we have to cross the uh, Gulf of Gascogne. But, uh, in November, the Gulf of Gascogne, it could be, if we are really lucky, something quite nice. But uh, normally it's uh, hard conditions, strong conditions. Uh, we have to manage that with the new boat. So it would be something quite, uh, I think, a little bit difficult uh, for, for them to find a good balance about uh, survive maybe and uh, to have also a good performance. And after is more a little bit something we know. We have to turn around the high pressure of Assor, uh, uh, find, uh, find the good pressure to go to the doldrum and uh, cross the doldrum. So this also is uh, quite an uh, important part of the race. And something is that totally new for all the sailors in France is uh, to go to turn around Fernando and to finish in Martinique. Uh, we have made a little bit uh, this uh, part of racing in a Volvo Chain race. So we have a big advantage for the final course. What do you like most about double-handed sailing compared to crude sailing or sailing by yourself? That you are able to push all the time the boat and uh, because uh, every time uh, there is uh, one guy uh, on deck. But uh, the exercise is quite difficult because it's, we are not full crew. And uh, this balance, to be able to push the, the boat, but is a uh, hard work, uh, I like uh, this uh, way of sailing. I think when we uh, disagree, although it is very uh, rare, um, we, we talk about it until we finally do agree, and then we do that. I think we are not really, uh, we are not really uh, disagree about, uh, we speak, uh, we share a little bit about everything, and finally we got the, 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 good, uh, the good points, but uh, I think we are quite uh, on a good uh, way to uh, share everything on board. And uh, for the moment, uh, I touch a little piece of wood, everything is quite okay. Oh, and you, uh, my friend, uh, Charlie, what's your idea about the double ended with the French guys? Because you, you, you know only double ended with French guys. <laughs> I'm sorry for you. I think that, I think that you like double-handed sailing because it's like being alone, but then you make me do all the work. <laughs> I think. <laughs> oh, yes. It's just, good, it's, good summary. Yeah, yeah. not bad. Uh, I like double-handed sailing because it, um, it brings me out of my comfort zone from, you know, crew, someone who comes from a crude background. I have to do a lot more things on the boat. I find that to be rewarding. I think we have a big, the, the same story since uh, last year, so uh, managing the boat and everything on board, uh, I think is quite natural. We find a place on board for a few things compared to, uh, I think, the experience, the personal one we have. So, in fact, uh, it was quite natural and to find the good, the good place uh, when we do a maneuver. Uh, I am a bit stronger than him, so I grind uh, a lot when we do the maneuver, but he's really, really strong compared to me to, me to go to uh, do all the maneuver uh, on deck, you know. 
So uh, we find a good balance, I think, about everything like that. Our culture last uh, few years, it was around uh, performance in uh, World Ocean Race. So I think we are on the same page about uh, everything about performance and I think it's a big uh, start to have a good feeling on board and to work uh, together. My biggest fear is that we are racing against time. Uh, more than we are racing against our competitors in a lot of ways. We have a new boat and I think to learn everything about that boat and to, um, to, to, to make sure that we finish the race and that everything works, uh, that's, that's my biggest fear. And we will put in a lot of time between now and the start to make sure that everything is working to the best of its ability. Be careful. I know, it's, <laughs> it's a sticky question. <laughs> In 2019, when we first sailed together, there was a lot of unknown. And now that we've sailed together, um, you know, for two years essentially, um, the trust is easy. It, it, for me at least, it comes <laughs> in one direction very easy. And I think he's slowly learning to trust me as well. No, I think we are really focused on one thing when we sail. It's about performance. We know we are here to, uh, to win or to do something quite nice in, uh, on the way to sail, you know. Uh, sometimes you, uh, you arrive to win a race, but you, everything went really clean on board, so you are happy. But, uh, and sometimes you are not able to win because the other guys are stronger than you. It's uh, the way uh, it's the sport. But uh, sometimes you are happy on the way we, 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 you do everything uh, to prepare the boat, to sail, to, to share everything, uh, a human relation and everything like that. And I think uh, what is quite important for me is to have a good balance about that and to say at the end, yes, it was a good story and we, we have made uh, everything uh, the, the best uh, it was possible for us. Pascal, what do you fear most in life and how do you deal with that? Not a lot of things, but uh, what I don't really like is uh, when I'm not, I'm not sure I'm able to manage something, you know? I like where I have uh, work enough and I arrive and I can do my job well, you know? When I arrive and I'm not 100%, I can manage the things. I don't like this way of, uh, of, of life. In general, not, about, not only about uh, work, it's a, it's a little bit uh, like that. And the relationship also, I, I, I like when it's uh, simple and maybe a little bit cash, you know, a little bit like me, because uh, I think it's a, it's a big way to have a good relationship, because uh, when we share everything, you, you can't have any problem, okay? And you, uh, what you are really scared about what in your life, uh, Amigo? Sailing with French guys? I don't know what I'm scared <laughs> Yeah. Of. It's a know. hard question, huh? Yeah. yeah. What is the meaning of life? I'm scared that one day I will be old. Yeah. And I will not have done everything that I want to do. Ah, yeah, good answer. I think in a lot of ways, we're racing ourselves and we're racing the clock. And um, we need to learn as much about this boat as we possibly can. Um, and if we do that, I think the results will take care of themselves. In, in the last TJV, we had an old boat and I feel like we got the most out of it. And now we have a new boat and we have to make sure that it gets the most out of us. Uh, with the Amoka 60, a lot of the sailing is now inside. So um, the kit that you need is certainly different than what it's been in the past. Uh, the kit that I need, because I go outside more frequently than Pascal, is maybe different than what he needs. Um, but you know, Musto is great at providing uh, gear that can thrive not only in the North Atlantic in November, but also crossing the doldrums and into the Caribbean. So um, it's very breathable and versatile and dry. And that's the most important part. My passion for ocean health and sustainability started at a very young age, uh, growing up sailing on Narragansett Bay. Uh, it was something that was always instilled in me. And um, you know, now that I'm a little bit older, later in life, it's something that I take pride in instilling uh, within my children. On essaie d'améliorer ça un petit peu tous les jours. L'idée, c'est d'apprendre tous les jours un nouveau mot. Voilà. Mais euh, on n'a pas, il n'y a pas beaucoup de jours dans l'année, donc on a encore beaucoup de boulot à faire. I know all the bad words. <laughs> That's it.
Uh, I know some sailing words, but mostly swear words. Charlie, what is the three things, one, two, three, you miss uh, the most when, when we are racing and sailing? Ah, uh, easy. Easy? Yeah. I my, know. My wife, my yeah, son, fun. and my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Pascal, what are the three things that you miss most when you were at sea? Family, of course. Of course. Food. Okay. Good food. You know, I, I love really uh, French food and we have a really good one. And maybe the third one, a good uh, uh, glass of red wine is a good one. I would take my HPX top with the latex seal. Yeah. I think I'm going to take my HPX with scratch, you know, because ah. it's not necessary to have latex for me on board. Correct. Now, what do you think? Yeah, inside <laughs> the scratch is just fine. Yeah, okay, good. <laughs>